Mike Murdoch, my mother's golden advice and how it affected me. My mother would tell me often, ask the Holy Spirit to block any decision you're making that's not his plan. I heard that more than once. If you're making a decision, if you're buying a car, buying a house, if you're dating somebody, ask the Holy Spirit to block it. It took me a long time to grasp that God won't interfere without invitation. Even in the book of the Revelation, it reveals Jesus knocking on the door, saying, if any man wants me to come in, let him open the door. God's not in control of everything in the world, and that's easy to see. You don't have to have the the brain of a turtle or a lizard to know that. There wouldn't be rape if God was in control, murder. There wouldn't be an attack on 3,000 pastors in Ukraine if God was in control. Matthew 6 is a ridiculous prayer, the Lord's Prayer. If God's in control, Isaiah 117 is ludicrous when he says, learn to do well. <laughs> If God's in control of everything, you don't even need any teachers. Why buy a book if God's already in control? But mother would say that. She'd say, I always ask the Holy Spirit to block if it's not his will. And I realized it was a verbal documentation of authorizing God to stop. I said, well, mother, Psalms 84, 11, says no good thing will God withhold from them that walk uprightly. Romans 8, 28 says he'll turn everything for his good. She said, but you don't want anything God doesn't want you to have. Can you have it? Well, of course. Of course, you can have many things God doesn't want you to have. The Tower of Babel. God came down and says, the thing you've imagined you can do. It's angered me, and that's why God came up with all the foreign languages. No, God lets people do things he hates every day of his life. Permission, permission to wound the heart of God never leaves. So I saw a building I wanted. It's on the freeway. Loved it. The 92-year-old man, I think he was 92 or 94, something like that, didn't want to sell it to me. I don't know why. He made things hard. Change this, change that, change this. And I lost the joy of wanting the building. The realtor calls me, says, Brother Murdoch, the old man decided he'll go ahead and sell you the building. I'll pick you up in one hour. I went over to my secret place. I'm in prayer. I said this to the Lord. I'm not inspired to buy this building anymore. I don't want it anymore. I've lost all the joy. Wisdom came. When the joy leaves, start making the changes. When your joy leaves, Start making changes. Joy is the reward for doing something right. Joy is the reward for doing something right. Wow. I said, Father, would you block it? I said, well, oh, first I said, why didn't you tell me this last several days? He said, you didn't ask me. You wanted it so bad, I didn't get involved. I said, would you block it? Because I'm going to buy it now. I'm already stuck. The guys agreed. Find a way to block this. And as we pulled up to the big building, three and a half miles from my house, 
the realtor said, Brother Mike, I hate to say this, but I got another phone call from the old man. He will not sell you this building. He's making one more demand. I, I smiled. I said, oh, brother, that's the Lord. I've lost the joy to own this building. Stay away from a joyless environment. Stay away from joyless people. Stay away from a joyless decision. Six months later, I bought the Wisdom Center. I'm going to just give you that little golden key from my mother's. Her advice changed my life forever. Changed my life forever. There were a couple of girls I was going to marry, but I prayed that prayer, Lord, block this if it's not your will. Somehow, block this if it's not your will. Maybe you're going to buy a house. And you love the house, and the price is good, but you don't have peace. Father, on this Sunday night, I'm asking you, I'm giving you permission, block the sale of any house that's not your will. Block buyers buying our homes if they're not the right people. Lord, there's somebody dating a man, but it's not your will. But they're so lonely, they're willing to make any changes. In Jesus' name, I want to say this to a single woman. It's hard living a single life. It's almost hellish going to bed alone every night wishing somebody would be there to be your encourager. But it won't take you six months to find out that nobody is as they first appear. Nobody. So in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I ask the Holy Spirit to block anything that's not his will. I'm asking the Lord for 78 people. It's my 78th year, April. Can you believe that? Almost 80. I'm asking the Lord to give me 78 passionate lovers of the Holy Spirit that I can teach and share with. If you, if you, are one of my 78 people obsessed with the voice of the Holy Spirit, and you have a passion like Mike Murdoch does for the Bible, call the number 817-759-BOOK and just tell my assistant, tell Brother Mike, I have a passion and I would like to join wisdom 78. It's no cost. It's just a passion to know God's voice.